What up? It's your boy King Dial 225 coming at you with another reactionary video. And today, man, it is not safe to be black in America anywhere. No matter what you do, it's like America gives white America a guaranteed fear for my life clause. Well, at any time, if I'm scared of anybody that's a non-white, I can do something about it and get away with it. Shout out to one of my subscribers, Watch Your Tone Boy, Watch Your Tone Boy, who sent me this video. It's a one minute clip. But this is a prime example of, damn, I can't even be a black sheriff in America without being profiled racially. Let's get into this video. White security guard aims his gun at a black sheriff deputy. White security guard aims his gun at a black sheriff deputy. He has no idea the terrifying standoff that's about to erupt. A security guard tells him he has to remove his gun. The deputy says he can't do that and walks away. That's when the guard pulls his weapon and aims it right at the deputy. I'm thinking, wow, this man's going to shoot me in my back because I can hear the anger in his voice. An urgent call was placed to 911, but there's not one word that the guy they were concerned about was a deputy. We got a taxpayer at the IRS office that has a gun and he won't leave the premises. I work at the IRS, I'm IRS employee. What's he doing? He's got a gun and he won't leave. The deputy, Alan Gaston, does try to leave, but the guard blocks the elevator door. I asked him about five or six times, just move your foot so I can go. Nope, you're not going anywhere. Imagine their surprise when the Toledo, Ohio Police Department got there and realized the allegedly white security guard. Bro, did y'all see Paul Blart in action? I mean, goddamn, this one IRS building had more security and defense than the Capitol on January 6th. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like one black person can't come to the IRS building for proper business and I just so happen to be a sheriff in, a sheriff in full uniform. How many of y'all ever seen a sheriff or a cop ever take that gun off? Ever. Well, oh yeah, we we march on the Capitol. Oh no, there's nothing wrong with that. They're just disgruntled employees. Say, bro, you can't. <laughs> it just, it's, it's so heartbreaking. It's funny how difficult the lives of black people are in America and yet we still hold our head up and stay positive and try to progress the culture of the community even America like this is just sad bro he stops by the aims his gun at a question about his black practice. sheriff deputy he has no idea the terrifying standoff that's about to erupt a security guard tells him he has to remove his gun the deputy says he can't do that and walks away. Oh, That's when the Lord. guard pulls his weapon and aims it right at the deputy. He was waiting on his chance. To, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get on police force this time. Thinking, wow, this man's I got us somebody in the Halloween costume. Because I could hear the anger in his voice. An urgent call was placed to 911, but there's not one word that the guy they were concerned about man. was a deputy. We got That's a taxpayer at the IRS the office who has a gun and he won't leave the premises. I work at the IRS, I'm IRS employee. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's got a gun and he won't leave. The deputy, Alan Gaston, does try to leave, but the guard blocks the elevator door. I asked him about five or six times, just move your foot so I can go. Nope, you're not going anywhere. Imagine their surprise when the Toledo, Ohio Police Department got there and realized. God damn. Just keep your head up. My community, just keep your head up. It all is, we're going we gonna to get progress one day. It's your boy, King Dad 225 with another reactionary video. Hit that like, subscribe, become part of the kingdom.